Hello and welcome to DrillingContractor.org. I'm Ava Vig reporting from the Noble Advanced Training Center here in Sugarland, Texas, where we've just seen a demonstration on Noble's electric BOP. I'm here with Scott Mark, Senior Vice President of Engineering, Robert Van Kuhlenberg, Manager of Mechanical Engineering, and Patrick O'Neill, Director of Research and Development. So why did Noble decide to develop an electric BOP? The idea of an electric BOP started with, within Noble about 2003. We were looking for alternative uh, methods of controlling the BOP. At the time, battery technology was not where it is today, and so the electric BOP program stalled a bit. In 2013, it, we rekindled the idea and we moved forward with uh, pro progressing it to the state it is today. We, uh, we're very proud of the, uh, the BOP that we have just demonstrated uh, outside and we feel that we add a new uh, dimension to BOP controls. The technology that exists in the MUX control system is at its limits and we were, we're looking for an alternative to that. Noble was excited to push forward with this technology. So what are some of the advantages of electric BOPs versus conventional hydraulic BOPs? Uh, well, we believe that the hydraulic BOP is uh, at its end of its availability curve at the moment. And we feel that the electric BOP will make that needed step change to increase in reliability. Um, the way we reach that is by reducing complexity and using modern technologies that are now being developed in battery technology. And what are the operating and water depth limits? At this moment, we can design it for any operating water depth we like. But at the moment, it is 12,000 feet water depth. Um, but of course, we can fine tune that upon requirements. So the, the current uh, closing force is 2 million pounds designs for a 15K BOP. Uh, and we're working about and upgrades as well for the, to increase that closing force. So we are at a very low point in drilling activity, especially offshore. Can operators and contractors afford to replace current BOPs? And do you see that the value outweighs the cost? The final version of the electric BOP, the final version is, is still a bit in development. I mean, this is phase one. We would have to partner with a, an either an OEM or a customer to bring it to the next level. We do believe that uh, the cost and the replacement of the existing technology will be uh, within the the grasp of uh, of the drilling contractor. In the event that you do need to pull the stack for a malfunction or a, a failure, a stack pull today on average, depending on water depth and location in the world and stuff, but a stack pull today is about $5 million. Retrofitting a BOP, uh, if it can prevent uh, or, or limit the number of stack pulls that you have per year, unplanned stack pulls, uh, it can significantly save the drilling contractor money. So does Noble plan to go into the BOP business? That is not our intention. We are a drilling contractor at our core. The BOP industry has needed a little education and a little push, but we are not going to get into the BOP manufacturing game. And is Noble planning to replace current BOPs fleet-wide? And if so, is there a timeline that you can share with us? What everyone saw today is our prototype model. We have a lot of development work that we want to move forward. We're looking actively to partner with other BOP manufacturers and potentially down the road we might include replacement of BOPs. Well thank you Scott, Robert, and Patrick for your time today and we appreciate your insights. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.